still need to access the adjutant we retrieved from Tarsonis. Our old mercenary associate, Colonel Orlin, is an expert in Confederate code decryption. If our intel's right, he should still be based at the Murk Haven at Dead Man's Port. He's not very trustworthy, but he's our best bet of breaking that encryption. Dead Man's Port. It's risky just waiting here with all these mercenaries around. Colonel Orlin sure taking his time decrypting that adjutant for us. Yeah, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Incoming transmission. James, Orlan decrypted your adjutant, but he's planning to sell it to the Dominion. Must have been something exciting in there. He, he wants me to keep you off his back until they arrive. That's nice, Mira. But why are you telling me all this? Because I like you and Matthew better than him, of course. Match Orlan's offer, and I will help you take him out instead. He's paying in minerals, so I'll give you the same deal. Done. Always a pleasure, Mira. Don't take too long now. If Orlan comes up with the goods first, I will have to side with him. Oh, and um, say hello to Matthew for me. Ask him why he never calls. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get minerals down there. We'll have to find salvage if we're gonna hire Mira before Orlin does. You think she'll help Orlin, sir? She's a mercenary. She'll help whoever pays the most. Alright boys, we got a deal with Mira Han. Now let's get to work and get that adjutant back. Pirates have been stripping down ships here for years. It should be pretty easy to collect enough scrap to pay Mira off. Those shredders are constantly producing scrap we can salvage. We should check this area again later. Incoming transmission. I left a little present out here for you and Matthew. I never got to give it to him last time you boys were here. Damn, Jimmy. Are those vulture bikes? Good eye, Tychus. We can use them to lay mines around our base to hold off Orlin. All right, Mira. We both know you're ripping me off. But I'm gonna hire you anyway. My forces are yours, Jim. I'm so glad I got to side with you and Matthew. Oh, you scheming little! I'll show you what happens to double-dealing backstabbers! I got a little present headed your way. Depleted. All right, all right, I surrender. Just take your damn head you know, already. I ought to do the universal favor. Mira, do me a favor. Keep him on ice. <laughs> you got it, Raynor. I will keep the snake safe and sound for you. I will even do it for free. Sir, the decrypted adjutant is back in the lab and ready to go. Well, old girl, we dug you up on Tarsonis. Were you online during the Zerg attack? Do you remember anything about Arcturus mechs being involved? 
Manx, Arcturus, ex-Confederate officer, civilian prospector, founder and leader of the Sons of Korhal terrorist group, status, criminal. Accessing intercepted transmission 0081 to 0086 Alpha. This is Duke. The emitters are secured and online. Who authorized the use of psi emitters? I did, Lieutenant. What? The Confederates on Antigua were bad enough, but now you're gonna use the Zerg against an entire planet? This is insane! She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. Believe me. You all have your orders. Carry them out. I will not be stopped. Not by you, or the Confederates, or the Protoss, or anyone. I will rule this sector, or see it burnt to ashes around me. Holy... I can't believe it. We can nail Minx to the wall with this. I can't believe it. That recording proves it's all true. Mengsk, Tarsonis, all of it. What will you do now? Tell the people. Every man, woman, and child in the Dominion needs to know what their beloved Emperor is capable of. The backlash will be awful. There'll be riots and uprisings everywhere. But that's just what you want, isn't it? It's a start. Adjutant 23-46 online. Emperor, much has been written in regards to the tragic fall of Tarsonis. Tolosky's investigative documentary, Imperial Dawn, even claims that you brought down the Confederate system by assuring Tarsonis' fall. I've heard these conspiracy theories before, but the fact remains. The Zerg invaded Tarsonis en masse, and no force in the universe could have stopped their onslaught. It was a very... terrible day. Tulowski's film highlights the seeming convenience of the aliens annihilating a corrupt government that you yourself spent a lifetime trying to overthrow. Millions died that day, and you speak to me of convenience? Yes, I strove against the evils of the old confederacy, but never with the object of personal gain. When I was called upon to take up the heavy burden of leadership, I did so only to ensure our continuing survival as a species. Striking words from the Emperor himself. Up next, Zerglings allergic to lemon juice, old wives' tale, or new super weapon in the fight for humanity? I gotta know. Just what was it went down between you and Mengsk? Seems you boys were tight once. I used to think Minx be a force for change. Fought alongside him right up until Tarsonis. That's where he crossed the line. By using Zerg to murder the whole planet. He left Kerrigan there to die because she called him out on it. Turned out he was just as rotten as the Confederacy ever was. Damn. You sure know how to pick your friends, Jimmy. Mercenaries are so untrustworthy. Not like rebels and pirates, right? <laughs> Those goofy mercs are still using vultures, can you believe it? Damn things are death traps, even when you ain't got people shooting at you. Careful now, Swan. My old vulture saved my skin more times than I care to remember. I ain't gonna listen to you trash talk a classic piece of engineering like that. Classic? I suppose you'd call them that. Of course, most folks like a bike that don't explode on them when the repeller seals freeze up, or the fuel cells start leaking radioactive waste. But hey, who cares if it's a classic, right? <laughs> no one likes a smart-ass swan. If Mirahan calls, I'm... I'm, I'm just busy.
The decrypted adjutant contains records proving Manx ordered the massacre on Tarsonis. Now we just need to broadcast those records. Mirahan gave us a tip that might help. The Dominion is unveiling a new war machine called the Odin on Core Hall. If we hijack the Odin, we can use it to gain access to the UNN studios and broadcast the records of Manx war crimes. The Odin is currently in the testing facility on Valhalla. Our team's in position. We're ready to steal the Odin. Are you absolutely sure about this, sir? Yep. Tychus is definitely our best man for this kind of job. He does get a little excited in combat. We're gonna need to keep up with him once the fighting starts. If he can actually commandeer the Odin, it's vital that we take out all the Dominion bases in the area. Hopefully we can block all transmissions long enough for him to do that. We can't risk word of this getting back to Core Hall. How much do we know about this Odin? It's an experimental super heavy siege walker designed for prolonged frontline combat. Very powerful. Great. Even Tychus can't wreck it then. Here they go. Go, go, go! Seen a stealth mission anymore, ladies. Bring it loud and fast. Uh, sir, you seem to have found something very interesting there. If you can bring me a sample in the lab, that would be great. Activate the auto turrets! Oh, you ain't keeping me from that monster. Get a support force up there to cover you. Now that's what I'm talking about. Damn it, Titus. Stand down. Can you read me? He's got it stuck on transmit, sir. He can't hear us at all. Defenses are coming online at the Dominion bases. Wonderful. Get our base set up ASAP. We'll just have to follow him in and hope he doesn't get too crazy. I hope I kid him. Sir, I'm picking up Dominion battle cruisers on an intercept course with the Odin. Hey, Hotshot, you want these Wraith fighters now? They'll take down a battle cruiser easy. You can build more to stop for. So what's the plan now, Commander? Trash them bases, right? Uh, Jimmy? Partner? Can you hear me? Well, if you ain't gonna tell me not to have a little fun, I'm gonna have a little fun. <laughs> oh, here I go. Oh, we want some of this. Boom. Sweet. You just keep me repaired, Jimmy. I'll win this whole war for you. Does he always talk this much, sir? Yep, once you get him in a fight, he never shuts up. Well, now that's done with. I'm gonna take me a little break. Good thing I brought me some liquid refreshment. Now that hit the spot, there's nothing like knocking back a cold one on top of your enemy's smoking corpses. I can't wait no longer. Here it comes. Okay, flashy red button, what do you do? Boom, baby. SCV ready. Damn, now that is hot. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. Reckon you boys.
boys will need some time to catch up. Good old Tychus be right here taking it easy. Just wake me up when y'all ready. I reckon a small new car to do it. I have no idea what that is. Can you bring me a sample in the lab? Maybe something good will come of it. Come on, Jimmy. We got heads to break. You want some of this? Three bases down. Maybe the convict has his uses after all. You know, I think I'll take me another breather. You better get some backup ready for me, Jimmy. You reckon these Dominion boys will put up a fight this time? I ain't barely broke a sweat. Meeting orders. Here we go. I'm hitting my stride now. I can't wait to dig into that! Uh, scientifically, I mean. I'm not going to eat it. This is gonna get tricky. I'm detecting battle cruisers at the next base, and the Odin doesn't have strong anti-air capabilities. Scramble more wraiths from the starport. If we have enough, we can handle those battle cruisers. Now that was fun. <laughs> Don't worry, old buddy. I'll give you some time to catch up. Well, I'll be. Those Dominion eggheads really thought of everything. Pardon me a moment. Secured, we can hit the UNN complex on Core Hall and make our broadcast. Hey, can you hear me, Captain? Maybe next time you'll dress old Tychus with a little bit of mayhem. <laughs> That's about all I trust you with, Tychus. Well, you fought real good out there, Tychus. Your time in the freezer didn't dull your edge none. Well, fear and violence always did bring out the best in me. <laughs> Have to admit, we always did make a good team. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was until I went to prison and you went legit. Right. Lockwell reporting from UNN headquarters on Core Hall. Let's go to Donnie Vermillion on special assignment. Kate, I'm very pleased to be talking to General Horace Warfield. General, I understand that Dominion forces will soon be showing off their newest weapon, the Odin War Machine. 
<laughs> That's correct, Donnie. We'll show the Odin on the streets of Core Hall itself, with full coverage from your fine network. General, Kate Lockwell here. I've heard rumblings about some sort of logistics trouble with the Odin's debut. Now, Kate... It's true, Kate. The Odin was delayed in shipping, and we briefly lost communication with the production facility. But it arrived safely, so we can go ahead with the unveiling. You heard it here first. The Dominion unveiling new weapons of destruction on the streets of Core Hall. What is wrong with that woman? Tell her not to interrupt my interviews! Your boy Horner is actually pulling this off. Gotta say, I'm mighty impressed. So how does the Odin raid as a fighting machine? Brother, it is the single greatest creation in the history of mankind. Striding around and dispensing righteous fury just about brought a tear to my eye. <laughs> you just let me know when I can take it out for another spin. You'll get your chance soon enough, old buddy. Don't you worry. Ever wonder why minks don't just send him ghosts to kill ya? You've been a thorn in his side for a long time. Assassinating me just turned me into a martyr. <laughs> He'd never be rid of me then. He needs to kill my reputation first. Very good. You think clearly despite your heat for him. Course his patience has got limits too. Tread careful, Mr. Rena. Someone on this ship is already working for Minsk. I can feel it. The Dominion is getting into some pretty advanced weapons technology, but their biological sciences are still terrible. So Swan, what are the chances we can build something like that Odin? You nuts? No way we've got the facilities for mass producing hardware on that scale. And here I was thinking you could build anything, Swan. Shoot. All right, forget the scale. I'm gonna figure it out, don't you worry. And I'll come up with something a damn sight more practical than that showpiece. You see if I don't. Sir, when Tychus came back aboard the ship, I had the techs run a scan on him. Matt, you need to get a hobby. Seriously, sir. His suit contains a sophisticated transponder. If it receives the correct code, it'll shut down all his major organs. That suit is a death trap. He's got a gun to his head. And who's got their finger on the trigger? Mobius? Tychus, what have you gotten yourself into? We have the Odin. Now we can use it to spearhead our takeover of the UNN Studios on Core Hall. Once the Odin has taken out their defenses, we'll broadcast our evidence against Mengsk. Figure they'll throw everything they have at us. They'll be talking about this one for years. Our raid on the Valhalla facility hasn't even been reported yet. The Dominion have no idea we stole the Odin. I had to call in every favor I had, but I got the Odin on the surface, with Tychus inside. Matt? You're a miracle worker. Must have been a complicated operation. You don't even want to know, sir. I'm not going to let anything keep us from exposing Minsk. So they're still expecting to film it at the UNN Studios later today? That's right. And we won't disappoint them. Seeing as he's the only one with experience, Tychus will pilot the Odin and hit the studio guards with a surprise attack. They'll be confused for several minutes, and won't even know who to attack at first. And during the confusion, We'll establish a forward base using this command center we acquired earlier. Pretty devious, Matt. I like it. If Tychus can inflict enough damage during the sneak attack, making the broadcast should be relatively easy. Keep in mind, we'll only have a few minutes before the Dominion realize that Tychus is in the Odin. Once they figure it out, they'll use everything they've got to stop us. Whatever happens, we'll be giving Mex one hell of a broadcast. Let's do this.
I'm in the Dominion security network, bringing up their locations now. General Warfield of Dominion Command. You're ordered to stand down or face immediate termination. No. An alert's gone out. It won't be long before they shut me out of their system. Don't rush me, kid. Can a man take some pleasure in his work? We're almost out of time. So are these guys. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I like it. The Dominion switched to a secure channel. I can't track their positions anymore. But I have gained access to the UNN network. We'll need troops to stay close to one of the broadcast towers long enough to get our message out. For our broadcast to reach all of Dominion space, we'll need to control each broadcast tower long enough to upload the data. Any unit type can maintain control. You can bet Max will have something to say about that. Let's get moving. Our base is up and running. I'm transferring control of it to you now, sir. Hardware inbound. These stores are smaller than the Odin, but they handle better and they still hit hard. Enjoy. That big dog is all mine. This mighty steel giant stands as a testimony to the skill and determination of our Dominion engineers and scientists. Heavy duty. Mineral field depleted. Making potholes! Implacable, relentless, invincible. The Odin is a stirring symbol of the unyielding strength of the Terran Dominion. I like it. It's gone crazy! Run! Security breach at one of the towers. Strike Team Alpha, engage. Stop them. First transmission uploaded. Even Manx won't be able to wriggle out of this one. Incoming transmission. There's only one man arrogant enough to think he can get away with this. Rainer. Ha. Huh. Just for once, Arcturus, this really is all about you. I hope you enjoy our show. I knew it. Warfield, take your men down there. I want Rainer's head, you understand? Him and all his terrorist friends. They're attacking a tower. Strike Team Bravo. Take them out. We're almost done transmitting Mech's dirty little secret to the Dominion. Strike Team Charlie, get to that tower. Bring down those rebels. Mineral field depleted. That's the last one. Let's see what the people will think of their beloved Emperor now. All transmissions have been sent, sir. Every world in the Dominion just got a UNN special bulletin about Mengsk.
These shocking revelations, a veritable firestorm of anti mengs sent. The Emperor held a news conference earlier today. Emperor, how do you respond to these allegations of genocide? Of using aliens to... I assure you, these slanderous attacks against the throne are baseless and irresponsible. Sir, do you still stand by the sentiment that selfless devotion to the people is the basis of your rule? Well, of course. I was called upon to serve the greater interest of humanity. Personal power was never my goal. Then how would you characterize this statement? I will not be stopped. Not by you or the Confederates or the Protoss or anyone. I will rule this sector or see it burnt to ashes around me. Uh, I will stand for this. You jackals think you can come in here and question me? This interview is over. You know, I love seeing him squirm. But the Dominion's just gonna spin this like they do everything else. Not this time. Manx used the media as a weapon for years, and now we've turned it against him. One broadcast. And won us a bigger victory than a hundred battles. I guess you're right. Well, it's what we started this revolution for in the first place. We've got a long way to go. Maybe we started something here. Hearts and minds, man. Just like you always said. You know, Matt, someday you're gonna wind up leading this bunch of misfits. Oh, no. That's what I keep you around for, sir. Lockwell here, live from Core Hall. There's rioting in the streets. Citizens are setting fire to government buildings to express their shock and anger at the startling revelations from earlier today. Donnie, what's the situation where you are? I had a brother on Tarsunas. I had a brother there. Um, I, um... Right. Uh, th th thanks for that, Donnie. Uh, okay. Emperor Menx broadcast a statement earlier today. Unfortunately, UNN satellites were on lockdown at the time. Uh, let's replay a bit of that. This evidence has been falsified. The enemies of the Dominion will go to any length to soil my good reputation. These ruthless, slanderous attacks cannot... At that point, the Emperor was shouted down. He since retreated to his palace and refuses to speak to anyone. In this reporter's opinion, Emperor Menx has been revealed as a... May never be on your side. But after today, they smear blood on Minsk. And that's good for all of us. <laughs> you see? Told you I could build something better than that piece of crap, Odin. I like that. That's the spirit, brother. Show him who's boss. Got some work to do on the chassis still. But I got to thinking about upgrades and variants, you know? They ain't gonna be cheap, cowboy. Big honking thing like that never is, but they'll be worth it, you see. That's what I like to hear. I'll take a look and see what's affordable. We sure gave Manx a kick in the pants. Excuse me. I don't usually have outbursts like that. Well, so you're thinking about giving up this life of luxury and becoming a professional broadcaster? Oh, regular folks just ain't ready for the raw sex appeal I'd unleash into the great little lives. I reckon my niche is right here with you, old buddy. Right to the end. I'm glad you're part of all this, Tychus. You did real good today. Those classified documents we found on Core Hall weren't anything special. Just referred to some old bioweapons lab orbiting Castanar. I think this one might be different. The files suggest they were planning to terminate everyone who ever worked there. 
I assume that doesn't mean firing them. But why would Menx want to kill a whole research staff? I don't know. But it seems like something we should check out. It does indeed. <laughs>